I like this next question. Can you describe in detail a particular incident or scenario where you utilize your own philosophy on leadership? It can be more than one, personal as well. Actually, it, it has to do um, with a, my personal and business okay. life because for quite a while it was blended. Okay. Um, when I started my business 14 years ago, I was married. Mm -hmm. And uh, my husband then really helped me start the business, grow the business. Mm -hmm. um, and then about six years ago, uh, we went through a divorce. And through the process, he offered to buy the business. Okay. So at that time, I thought, well, you know, the only thing tying me to Louisville is my business. Right. And I could sell it and just start over closer to my family, who most of them are in Puerto Rico and Florida. Mm -hmm. And I could just start over. But just I thought about it very shortly because mm -hmm. I knew I could not do that to my people. Right. My employees um, are my family mm -hmm. here. And they are very talented. They're very passionate like me. Mm -hmm. And not only that, it's just, I mean, I just couldn't do that to them. And so... In my opinion, that became a, a leadership style because mm -hmm. leadership is about flourishing other people, making other people grow. You just don't abandon the people that you're leading. And right. um, I, I really, it was, it was so clear to me. Mm -hmm. I, and, and, and I actually are very much about recognizing their hard work. Uh, we do have extra perks and a lot of benefits at Ingrid Design that even my HR consultants say, you're so giving. And I'm like, <laughs> yes, because they are mm -hmm. the, the, they make it, they make mm -hmm. it happen. Yeah. They, they are the essence of the company. Mm -hmm.